What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today Bungie just fully revealed season 19 now officially called season of the Seraph. So in this video we're going to be showcasing everything you need to know on a base level for what the heck is going on in this new Destiny 2 season and so let's get started. But really quickly I'm sure some of you guys watching remember that me and Mtash were having a competition to see who could sell the most advanced GG Well, you guys can his fans butts so that means I get to give away an advanced GG mini fridge to one of you guys if you want to enter simply click the link in the description down below and again win a mini fridge all right now as for the brand new information guys season of the seraph obviously is based around uh, the Rasputin AI the war mind all of that stuff it says the infiltrator the war god and the machine so it says the high Hive God of War moves to seize control of Rasputin's network of weaponized satellites. In her hands, she would turn its devastating power on the last city. To stop her, the Vanguard has authorized special covert operations armed with the Warmind's most advanced weaponry. Agents conducting these operations are known as Seraphs. All right, then we have the new matchmate activity, which is called Heist Battlegrounds. So, Seraphs have deployed to multiple destinations to infiltrate Braytech facilities, bypass advanced defense systems, and neutralize hordes of Wrathborn. Your security clearance has been granted and your Seraph fire team awaits Guardian. So, interestingly, and you'll see this in the trailer again, it looks like we're going to have to almost fight our way through some Rasputin defenses uh, to get these heist battlegrounds done. Then we have Operation Seraph's Shield. And this is a brand new exotic mission. Finally, the last two seasons didn't have one, so I'm super excited about this. It says, for this mission to succeed, Guardians must gain access to the most impenetrable facility in the solar system, a Braytech orbital platform above the last city. Break through layers of security each week and awaken Rasputin before it's too late. That actually sounds really, really cool. Now, adding to that, we have Revision Zero, and this becomes available on December 20th. It says, once deep enough within the facility, Guardians will reach the weapon Revision Zero. In the weeks following its discovery, multiple catalysts can be acquired, each adding to the mysterious exotic's power. So, this whole exotic mission really seems built on replayability. You're going back every single week to not only unlock the path to get this crazy looking exotic, but then you're unlocking multiple, like this is the first exotic ever with multiple catalysts that you could potentially swap for different abilities and powers and perks and so on. That is crazy. Moving on from there, there's a section on classified technology. Well, the first part, Leap Into the Light, Bungie and Ubisoft join forces so there's a bit of a crossover there you can see some of the Ubisoft themed armor coming to Destiny 2 Next up, we have High Voltage. The Arc 3.0 armor is finally available. Then we have Guardian Seraphs, uh, state-of-the-art Vanguard equipment made with precision for the finest infiltration fire team. So you can see right here, we have what looks to be a trace rifle, pulse rifle, bow, and linear fusion rifle. Not too many weapons here, so I'm curious to see if there's like more in the actual season. Uh, then, of course, we have the Rose Hand Cannon, which is going to be a legendary weapon reward award for the Crucible Competitive Division, the remade comp uh, playlist. We have the seasonal iron banner armor that you can see right here, returning an absolute classic, I think Destiny 1 uh, armor set. And then we have the uh, war minded section here showing off the new war mind themed armor, Seraph themed armor that looks so sick. But continuing from there, something else that you're going to be doing within some or all of these new activities is revealed in this screenshot here. You can see the Guardian on the left is holding like a Warmind sphere and shooting a beam out of it. So that's going to be a new like pickup weapon, kind of like a power weapon available. And again, one or more of these activities, kind of a new take on the original like Warmind spear uh, pickup from back with the the original Warmind expansion, so excited to use that thing for sure. 
However, guys, moving on from there, launching at the same time, Season of Seraph Goes Live, we also have Moments of Triumph. So Bungie says, as the final season of Year 5 begins, reflect on all you have accomplished and seize the moment to add to your impressive collection of victories. For although the journey begins anew, our triumphs are with us forever. So celebrate the year by visiting your favorite destinations and conquering new and long postponed challenges with a fervor that inspires guardians to greatness. And there's going to be Bungie rewards along with this. Complete the raid and dungeon triumphs to unlock an exclusive patch. There's also a new seal and moments of triumph t-shirt all unlockable throughout the season. And it shows this set of armor right here for the season's pass. Uh, so you have gear, XP rewards, get the new season's pass and instantly unlock the new exotic submachine gun. So as you can see right here, uh, this exotic SMG, it says add the catalyst and rank a hundred ornament to the manticore and strike your, at your foes with its venomous roar. So called the manticore, viced themed SMG from the trailer. It looks to be 900 rounds per minute. That is super cool. Uh, the armor sets, again, are gonna be the ones uh, that are in that season's pass and just kind of standard season's pass stuff aside from that. But guys, moving on from there, the one thing that is also coming this season that isn't really talked about uh, in this seasonal page on the Bungie website is the fact that the Deepstone Crypt uh, raid is getting updated. So this season, you're now going to be able to get red border versions of those raid weapons, and that's going to unlock the crafting blueprints. So now you can go and get the guaranteed god rolls of stuff like the Heritage Shotgun, which you may not have already, but also all of those raid weapons are getting updated perk pools. So they're going to have completely new god rolls to go and get. Uh, the Heritage, for example, I think you can now get uh, the reconstruction perk that's absolutely busted and Focus Fury now to massively increase the damage output rather than I think Recombination was the god roll, which was pretty much grasping at straws, like that wasn't that good. So holy crap, that's gonna be insane. However, Bungie doesn't really talk too much about it, but in the trailer, one of the most interesting things is right here, you're seeing footage of that brand new exotic being utilized within the Deep Stone Crypt, but this Guardian is fighting Scorn. And these were not present within the original Deep Stone Crypt raid. So we might be getting like more updates to this raid than just the ability to craft uh, the weapon. So that is pretty exciting as well, guys. And so that is pretty much everything you need to know at a base level about what is going on this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content, content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.